Do you ever find yourself running round and round in circles in the hub, not knowing what to do, but wanting to make money? Well, you've clicked on the right video. Today, we're going to be going over the quickest ways that you can make money. You're not going to be waiting around for things to sell or investments. We're talking about things that can actually increase your balance within minutes. But just before we do get into the video, if you do go on to enjoy the video and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We're on the road to 10k and every subscriber helps us along the way. Also, you should leave a like on the video. It boosts the video in the algorithm and it lets me let you actually enjoy the video. Finally, you should join the Discord server. It's linked in the description. There's just not really any reason not to join. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. I hope you all do enjoy. So to start off with, we're going to be taking it right back to basics, right back to the start. For this method, we'll need Diamond Collection 6, which is not really too hard to get if you just put a few minions down. We're going to be crafting Diamond Spreadings and you can make so much profit from this. I'll show you how. As you can see, we need enchanted diamonds and vines in order to make one. So we need eight vines and one enchanted diamond. In order to get vines, you buy jungle leaves from the builder. Go to your trades menu and literally just trade the leaves for the vines. Once you've got the vines, you can just come over to the bazaar and quick buy one enchanted diamond if you're going to make one. So one enchanted diamond is 1.2k. And as you can see, the jungle leaves are basically free. So let's round up and say it costs 1.5k to craft and you can sell them for 15k each. It's that simple. This method is absolutely ridiculously OP if you're early in the game, considering you could easily make 150k every 5-10 to 10 minutes. And also the investment is really small, you're always going to make profit from it too. Also I forgot to mention the demand for diamond spreadings is pretty much unlimited, like there is always demand for them and they sell within 5 minutes or so, so you won't really have any problems on that front. Next up we've got ultimate wise books, now these are insanely good to flip and very simple. At the moment they're selling for around 200k quite comfortably. Basically all you'll do is just refresh the market until flips like this come up. You'd buy these two straight away and make 50k profit, it's that simple. The same can be done with rejuvenate books if you don't have as many coins. Or wisdom books if you have slightly more coins, but I'd probably say ultimate wise is the best to flip. I'm not going to waste too much more time on this because it is very straightforward. So next up we have zealot grinding, now hear me out. Although this may seem like more effort and just more difficult than simply flipping or crafting things and then flipping them. It's very viable considering at the moment summoning eyes are almost a million coins and you could probably quite comfortably get five or six of these per hour so it's a very reliable method. Like if you really weren't afraid of grinding the game then you could probably quite easily get 100 mil in two to three days just from grinding the game by doing this method. If you are on a budget the best way you could probably grind zealots is to use ender armor and just pretty much a regular flower of truth. A god pot also helps and from there it's just as simple as running around and, um, and going for the zealots. It's pretty much as easy as that. You'll always get the annoying people who sit up here with a frozen scythe or a precursor eye. Just beam in every single zealot before you can get to it. But it doesn't have to be that complicated. Just use a flower of truth, get a god pot and get some decent armor and you'll be good to go. Now other things that are consistently good to flip is um, shadow assassin armor. Now from my flipping experiences, the boots work well, the leggings work well and the chest plate works well. Sometimes I struggle to sell the helmets so I usually avoid them unless there's a lot of profit. So usually when flipping these items you're looking for ancient 5 starred hot potato as a general rule of thumb. Also legendary and mythic seem to work way better than epic. At the moment final destination armour is also in a lot of demand and you can pick up some good flips. Once again I'd probably stick more towards boots, leggings and chest plates. Again the helmets don't seem to work as well. So there's a few different things that you have to consider when looking for flips. Number one is how many kills are on the counter i.e. how strong the item actually is. Also, which reforges on the item, Ancient sells for way more, and people just don't seem to want anything other than Ancient. The recombobulated item seems to go for a bit more, but they don't seem to make a massive amount of damage in comparison to say Shadow Assassin or Necron. I'd probably say you need to be prepared to lose coins in order to actually gain a bit more knowledge about the market to make coins when flipping these items, it's all part of the process. But the great thing about it is it is in high demand, so if you do find a good flip it's going to sell straight away and it's going to make you profit pretty much straight away. Anyway, without wanting to make this video too long, we're going to end the video just about here. I hope you all did enjoy, if you did, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.